Good morning. So I am just going to do a couple of technical bits just so that we can share the screen. Just going to make sure that I am unmuted. Yep. While a few of you join, let's just see if this is going to work. Okay, let's try again. There we go. Okay, perfect. So hopefully you can see my screen. I'm just going to give it a second to make sure that that comes up before I get started. Okay, perfect. So good morning. There's always a few um, technical things that we have to um, make sure we do before we get started. So um, my name is Michelle Davidson, for those of you who don't know me, um, and I'm just going to run through a back to basics class with you. Um, and this is basically um, an overview of um, the difference between doTERRA essential oils and other essential oils that you might find or have in the cupboard, um, and to really show you how they work how you can use them, how you can integrate them into your life. Um, and my aim is really that you just go away with a bit more of an understanding um, on how they work. And if I've done that, then I've done my job. So um, I love teaching people about the power of essential oils. They've massively affected um, us as a family. Um, we incorporate them into our lives every single day. Um, but not only that, they've massively affected thousands of people's of lives thousands of lives um, all around the world um, because doTERRA is actually global um, and lots of people that I've spoken to and that other people have impacted through these essential oils as well. Now I've been using essential oils for um, just over two years. Um, my journey started in April 2018. Um, when I actually came um, joined doTERRA um, I didn't actually get started with this essential oils. I was interested in the skincare, the spa care, the hair care, the nutrition, basically everything but essential oils. Um, and although I'd had some experience of essential oils, I just thought they smelled nice. I didn't really understand the impact that they could have on our lives and the therapeutic benefits that they could come with as well um, and how they can make a difference to us. So over the last two years, I've really learned so much about them and I'm still learning every single day. Um, and like I said, my intention today is that you're going to be able to understand the power of essential oils um, and how they could possibly impact yours and your family's health. So we're going to start by talking about three core cool things about essential oils. There we go. Um, so the first cool thing about doTERRA essential oils is that they are 100% natural and safe. Um, so you can see here just on the slide. Um, um, that it gives you a couple of um, bits of information there. Um, but basically, um, natural and safe means that there's been nothing added to the oil and nothing taken away from the oil. So just simply pure essential oils with no side effects and no addictions. They're completely safe for babies, elderly, children, adults, um, and essential oils are extracts that come that come from plants that have incredible health benefits. And an essential oil is actually 50 to 70 times more powerful than herbs. And one drop of this peppermint, just on the left-hand side here, um, one drop of that peppermint oil there is, is the equivalent to 28 cups of peppermint tea. So they're really, really potent. Um, so to if you have um, some essential oils, oils and you may have had an experience pack from us, um, you may have um, got started and you may have a few. So I'm just going to run through a few as well while we're going through that you can um, try if you haven't got around to trying them already. Um, so if you have an experience pack or you have a peppermint oil to hand then I'm just going to show you how powerful peppermint oil can be. So um, grab your peppermint oil and I want you just to take the lid off, pop 
one drop, no more, like you literally won't need any more, one drop of essential oil into the palm of your hand. Um, and then what you can do is just dip your finger in that essential oil and pop it in the roof of your mouth. And that's going to give you an amazing cooling experience. Um, it's it's going to energize. Um, it's just refreshing. It's such an incredible oil. And that one drop of peppermint oil is the equivalent to 28 cups of peppermint tea. So that's going to tell you how potent it is. Um, now um, make sure you don't put your finger in your eye because you should never put oils in the ears or in the eyes um, or and if you do get it in any sensitive part of your body obviously not your eyes or your ears but you can actually take some fractionated coconut oil and you can pop it on the skin wherever you, you've got a sensitivity and it will start to dilute the oil um, so just keep a um, just keep a carrier oil to hand make sure you've got carrier oil if you're using essential oils um, but the reason I like to use fractionated coconut oil is because it's really good for your skin and it doesn't leave an oily residue now once you've dabbed that tip of the finger on um, in the roof of your mouth um, and you've had that experience then you can rub your hands together rub your palms together and just cup your nose and that is going to be your natural diffuser now you may not be able to get it really close to your eyes um, because the peppermint oil is quite strong. So you might have to hold it a little distance here. Um, so just breathe that in for about 30 seconds and see how that feels. And it's gonna totally open up your airways. It's a super powerful oil. And like I said, that's the equivalent of 28 cups of peppermint tea. So that's how powerful they are. Um, but the thing that I really love about um, doTERRA essential oils is the CPTG standard. Now this stands for Certified Pure Therapeutic Grade Oils. And it basically means that they are completely pure and completely potent. It means there's no foreign contaminants or fillers. Potent means that each plant was grown in a part of the world where the plant grows best. So it basically is going to give you the best chemistry for that plant, which then is going to give you the therapeutic benefits. And um, when you have that ideal chemistry and it's extracted in that way from that plant in that perfect condition, that's when it's going to give you the therapeutic benefit and it's going to to be amazing for our health um, if it doesn't have that then it's not going to have that benefit so that's the first cool thing about essential oils they're 100 natural and safe so the peppermint that you've got there maybe you've got it in your experience pack um, is energizing opens up your airways it's great for fevers as it cools the body um, and really great relief for headaches as well you just literally you can pop a bit and just rub it on the temples there um, so yeah peppermint is is a great one to, to have in your toolkit um, so the second cool thing about um, essential oils is that they are more effective than modern day approaches to health problems so before we move on I'm just going to make a quick point that you know there may be some health professionals on the call or listening in um, but this is going to be a really basic, um, and it might, might sound very basic to you if you do have that medical background, but most of us here don't have that medical training. Um, so I'm going to keep it really simple just so that it makes sense to everyone. So this is biology 101. So let's say my fist right here is a cell in my body. Then around that fist is going to be an oily membrane. Now that oily membrane protects the cell and it keeps the good stuff in and the bad stuff out. Now, the two things that are harmful to our cells are viruses and bacteria. So bacteria normally forms on the outside of the cell and viruses duplicate the DNA on the inside of the cell. So all you have to remember is bacteria on the outside, virus on the inside. Now, let's say you went to the doctor with a bacterial infection, he would probably prescribe you a course of antibiotics and after taking those antibiotics for seven to ten days in most cases you might have cleared up the infection but if you're anything like me it may have also wreaked havoc on your gut your hormones and your immune system by having those antibiotics in your system now like if you go to the doctors with like a cold or the flu what's he going to say like how many of us have been to the doctors before and you think there's something really wrong he's like yeah it's just a virus and they sort of palm you off and send you away they tell you to go home to rest keep your fluids up and basically wait for it to take its course now the reason that most the reason they don't give you antibiotics 
links is because most of the modern day, modern day recommendations that they're going to give you in terms of medicine are water-based synthetic medications. But not only that, they also come with frequently come with, I must add, um, side effects and addictions. So you've got the oily membrane and then you've got the water in the medicine. Now water and oil don't mix, right? So if the, the recommendation from your doctor is water-based, it's gonna have a really hard time penetrating through that oily membrane and being able to stop the duplication of the virus on the inside. So essential oils are different. Um, they're oil-based for a start, obviously, um, but they have such, such tiny, tiny particles that they can actually penetrate through the cell membrane as well because they have those tiny particles and because they're oil-based, they can get through that barrier. So that means that they can work on a cellular level. They can get inside the cell and work from the inside um, and they don't have any side effects or any addiction. Well, I say they don't have any addictions, but they do become a little bit addictive. Um, and they can combat bacteria on the outside of the cell and prevent the duplication of the virus on the inside of the cell. So that is why modern day, uh, so that is why essential oils are much more effective than modern day approach to health problems. So that's the second cool thing. So if you have your experience pack there um, or you have your on guard, um, you can take out your sample of on guard and you can I just wave it under your nose, to be honest, um, and get, a, get an idea of what it smells like if you're using your experience pack. Um, and um, on guard reminds me of Christmas. Um, it's, you know, it's got all those sort of cloves and cinnamon oils in it. Um, it's great for the immune system. It's our protective blend. Um, it soothes sore throats. It's also a great cleanser for your hands and your home. Um, so I will go into that a little bit more in a second. Um, but that's the third cool thing about essential oils. They're more affordable than traditional um, medical care. Um, so sorry, the, they're more effective than the modern day approach to health problems. So um, the other thing that's great about the On Guard is that it's actually put into, that blend is put into other products. So it's put in to products like you've got, um, we've got cleaning for the home, we've got laundry detergent, we have hand wash, we've got san hand sanitizer, uh, we've got cleaning products, we've got toothpaste and mouthwash. So that protective blend is put into other products and used in so many amazing ways. Um, so yeah, on guard is definitely one to have in your toolkit um, and to have to hand. So third cool thing about essential oils is that they are more affordable. Um, so some people, I know that we do have quite a big um, USA team um, and um, a lot of customers as well. Um, so if you're in the US, obviously, a lot of you have to pay for your health care. Um, we're very fortunate in the UK that we do get free medical health care um, but let's just say your your health care is free um, and um, if you need any medicine then you're looking I think it's I have a prescription for ages but I think it's probably around nine pounds um, for a prescription so let's just say that you get your medical care for free and you get your prescriptions for free so the cheap that's the cheapest way you can visit the doctor okay so let's say someone in our family has an ear infection um, then what I would do is I would pop in the palm of my hand or um, into a little roller bottle, uh, just a, some, a drop or two of um, melaleuca, depending on how you're diluting it, how many drops, um, melaleuca and lavender uh, in some carrier oil. And then I would just massage it in behind the ear. Now, remember, you must never put oils in the ear, um, but just down here behind the ear and then I'd put them to bed and then just 12 hours later more often than not it's it's cleared up uh, um, sometimes it takes a second application or a little bit more but you know more often than not it's cleared up really quickly now with um, antibiotics you're looking at around seven to ten days um, but with essential oils, you're looking at it costing you only 64 pence. So even if your prescription is completely free, your, your, um, your healthcare is free, um, essential oils are still less effective than the petrol you have to put in the car to get to the doctors. And that also doesn't include the time off work you've had to do, um, you know, have someone sitting in the waiting room as well. Um, so let me just forward on again. 
Okay, so that's why they're more affordable. So um, let's just go into ways that you can use your essential oils. Um, let me just double check. I just want to double check that we're still recording. <clears throat> okay. Okay, perfect. Um, so yeah, so also the other thing to add is if you do have, um, if you do have antibiotics, then you're probably gonna need probiotics to fix your gut as well. So obviously there's lots of side effects with having antibiotics and you don't get those side effects with, with essential oils. So um, if you have, um, forgot to mention, just go back to this. If you have your sample of lavender oil um, in your experience pack, then grab that. Now, it may smell very different to lavender oil that you're used to. Um, <clears throat> and I'll go into a little bit what, about why that is in a minute. Um, but lavender oil is great for calming your mind, stress and anxiety. Obviously, we all know the benefits of lavender oil and sleep. Um, but it's also really good for skin conditions. So if you think about anything with, you know, burns, stings, bites, any skin irritation. And it's also a natural antihistamine. So you put le a lavender with lemon and peppermint and that is gonna be your natural antihistamine, okay? Um, and then the other sample that you will have in your experience pack is Melaleuca. This is our version of tea tree. So you can take that out and have a little waft under the nose. Um, and this is really great for ear infections um, combined with lavender. But it's also great for acne, eczema, psoriasis, athlete's foot. I just think of melaleuca of anything with like infection. Um, so if I have <clears throat> like a wound that is, um, you know, starting to go a bit red or a bit, you know, nasty if the kids have fallen over then tea tree is like is is my go-to um in terms of any you know any infection so let's talk about the three ways that we can use essential oils so the first way is aromatically so if you just take your fingers and pinch right here above the bridge of the nose on the bridge of the nose okay you can take it away now right under your fingers there is your olfactory nerve Okay, so basically that nerve sends a signal to the limbic system in your brain, um, which in turn sends a message to the entire body. Now, some people can think it's a little bit sort of way out there, airy fairy, that essential oils can affect your whole body. And I'm not going to lie, I was one of those sceptical people, even after I'd been using essential oils for about a year. Although I could feel the difference and the benefits, I, I was thinking, you know, is this just a placebo effect? Like, how does it actually work? And then I found this explanation and everything just fell into place for me. It just completely made sense. Um, and I have to have something logical to attach, um, you know, attach something to um, for an understanding. So when you go to the dentist, um, you and you maybe you need to be sedated, maybe you need a tooth out, um, they don't give you a pill or an injection. Most times they will give you a mask um, with laughing gas in it. Um, they'll ask you to breathe through that mask um, and as little as 30 seconds of breathing in those synthetic compounds through that mask, the gas in that mask triggers your olfactory nerve sends a message to the limbic system in the brain and then sends a message to your entire body to relax. So it's actually one of the fastest ways to access the brain. That happens in exactly the same way with the compound, the natural compounds found in essential oils. So when you breathe in those natural compounds that from the essential oils, they hit the olfactory nerve, it sends a signal to the limbic system in the brain and then in turn sends a signal to the rest of your body. And that with essential oils as well can happen in as little as 30 seconds. So there's a few ways on the left hand side you can see that you can use your essential oils. You can use your hands as a natural diffuser um, as, as we saw just now. Um, and or you can use a diffuser or you can just inhale straight from the bottle. So let's have an experience with wild orange right now. So if you've got your sample pack. Um, I want you to grab your wild orange and um, just put one drop again into the palm of your hands um, and then just rub your hands together and just sit and just cup your nose and just sit for 30 seconds and just close your eyes and just do some breathing from the belly. When you breathe from the belly it's going to really help control any anxiety 
anxiety um, and get your, your breathing under control. Um, rather than doing short, when you're breathing from up here, it tends to be a lot more um, like that. If you suffer with anxiety, try and concentrate, especially with using um, wild orange, try and concentrate on um, expanding the belly and letting it go rather than breathing from up in the chest. So just sit, I'm just gonna be quiet for a second so you can just enjoy that. Okay, so wild orange, not only does it smell absolutely amazing, um, it has the natural compounds in it that will help with stress um, and depression. Um, it's really good for invigorating and for lifting your mood. Um, so wild orange is definitely one that is great to keep in your, in your handbag. Um, and you can just inhale from the bottle as and when you need it for a little pick me up. Um, and then rub your hands together and then just pop the excess of that peppermint and that wild orange on the back of your neck. And it just, it does feel amazing when you do it on oh, my neck crack then. Um, I should have brought my oils out with me. Um, okay, so the second way you can use essential oils um, is topically. Now you can apply some essential oils directly to the skin, not all of them. So you do need to check the, um, the particular oil that you're applying to make sure that you um, are applying it in the correct way. But I would say that for any children, anyone that is pregnant, definitely, anyone with sensitive skin, you want to make sure that you dilute them with fractionated coconut oil. It can actually give you um, more localized benefits um, when, you're take, when you're using it with coconut oil. Um, it still absorbs into the body just as effective, but can just take a little longer. Um, you can also apply oils to the bottom of the feet. That is the best way to apply for the first time. If you do have sensitive skin, pop them on the soles of your feet or for babies or small children because it just doesn't irritate them at all. Um, and it's also a really great way to get oils into the system very quickly because they absorb very quickly into the bloodstream. Um, so what health concerns would um, be great for the topical use of application? Um, bug bites, um, any sort of midgy bites or anything that might be around at this time of year. Um, you could use lavender, you could use peppermint, or also we have a blend called Purify. Um, sunburn, sure there'll be some of that around this weekend. Um, a couple of drops of lavender oil in our fractionated coconut oil and just rub it all over the body for any sunburns, really great at soothing the skin. And then um, for anything like arthritis um, or any muscle or joint pain, then the deep blue and copaiba combination is an amazing, um, and I can speak from personal experience with that. I'll go into that in a little bit little bit more. Um, so if you want to grab your deep blue rub, um, now if you've got an experience pack you may have, you would have this in there. Um, now you might not want to use it straight away. If you don't have any particular aches and pains then I would hang fire um, and I would hang fire to use it when you do need it. Um, it's very strong smelling but it is the most incredible feeling uh, when you use it. It feels hot, but it feels cold. It feels a bit tingly, um, and, but it is really amazing for massaging into any aches and pains. Maybe you've got a bad back. Maybe you've been on your feet all day. Uh, maybe you have um, arthritis or something like that. Then it's amazing um, for any, any aches and pains, basically. But also, I used it last week for a headache. Um, I couldn't shift. So I used um, some deep blue, and then I put frankincense on top. Um, and but I couldn't actually open my eyes for about 10 minutes until it had absorbed in a little bit because it is really strong so definitely don't get that one in your eyes. Um, so the second way to use essential oils is topically. The other thing to bear in mind is that make sure that um, any citrus oils you're using on the skin you don't go out any get any sun exposure for around 12 hours. Um, 12 to 24 hours because um, if you apply citrus oils and then go out in the skin you will burn. Um, so that's one thing to bear in mind. So um, let's go on to internal use. Um, so a lot of doTERRA's essential oils are you are able to use internally, but not all of them. There are some essential oils, full stop, that are dangerous to use internally. So make sure that you do um, read the instructions on each particular oil. Um, now, there is some controversy around um, being able to use essential oils internally, um, uh, especially 
like aromatherapists are are taught not to use essential oils internally um, and the re reason for this is because most essential oils aren't safe to do that um, most essential oils um, are contaminated they have synthetic ingredients and they are not what they say on the bottle so you can go into a health food shop you can go into any shop and you can pick up a bottle of essential oil that says 100% pure or pure essential oil on the bottle um, and basically all that means when it has pure essential oil on the bottle is that it has under 10% of that particular oil in there um, because that is all that is required for an essential oil to be labeled pure is under 10%. So if you've only got 10% lavender in that bottle, for example, um, then what is going to be in the rest of it? That's what you have to ask yourself. It's going to be packed with fillers. It's going to be packed with the synthetic ingredient it's going to be packed with chemicals possibly it's going to be packed with cheap ingredients to bulk out that product so that they can make more profit and keep the cost down that's basically what happens so if you were to ingest one of those essential oils that only had 10 under 10 percent pure essential oil um and you were to ingest that it would make you very sick it would you know it is dangerous um, so that is why I would never, ever, ever ingest another essential oil that isn't doTERRA. Now with doTERRA, um, their essential oils are basically 100% pure and safe. Um, they are not contaminated. Um, they are basically what they say on the bottle. If you pick up a lavender oil, it is pure lavender. Um, they actually had some um, unbeknown, I think it was unbeknown to them actually. There's a company out there called APRC, Aromatic Research Plant Centre, um, and they tested 50 essential oil companies that claimed to be pure and have pure essential oils. Now only three of those companies came back as pure essential oils and doTERRA was one of them. Um, so 80% of essential oils on the market are actually adulterated. They are, or they're not pure, they're not what they say on the bottle. Um, so that's a really high, scary number. Um, and that is why there is that controversy around um, in using essential oils internally. Now, that's not to say you don't need to be careful because you absolutely do. Um, you know, you, you can't go crazy with internal essential oil use. You need to make sure that you're doing it in a safe amount. Um, and obviously, if you have any health concerns, then you need to consider that too. Um, but internal use for a lot of people can have incredible, incredible benefits. Um, so you can actually research that aromatic um, APRC. There's a report. Um, as well, I think I've put it in the group, I'll double check, um, but you can have a look at that um, your, for yourself and, and see what they found. Um, and actually the other two companies that um, were found to be have pure essential oils, um, they basically, they're really small companies. So a lot of companies run into problems when it comes with producing pure essential oils in big quantities like we need for doTERRA because we're talking to so many people about them that doTERRA have to keep up with us um, to for supply and demand and the problem comes when they need to produce in bigger amounts and that's when they start adulterating with doTERRA um, they don't need to do that um, they have in, incredible um, systems in place to allow them to produce pure therapeutic oils every single time but also to give you the same health benefits um, uh, or the same therapeutic benefits in each essential oil that you get. So if you get a lavender one time, it will do exactly the same thing for you next time. It's not gonna have a different benefit. So that's important as well. So a couple of ways that you can use essential oil oils internally lemon water in your oil uh, lemon water in your oil that's the wrong way around lemon essential oil in your water so if you have um we'll go into that in a second for your experience pack you've got a lemon in there um but yeah if you four ounces of water drop one drop of essential oil like i said you don't need any more than that because they are really potent and really powerful but lemon essential oil is great for detoxing if you do use lemon essential oil in water make sure that you have it in either a glass china or stainless steel don't put it into plastic because um it will basically eat away the plastic on the inside of the bottle and you'll end up drinking plastic so that's not a good look so make sure that you um use it in the right container um we have an essential oil called digest zen or zen Jest. incredible for any upset 
stomachs um, or any stomach problems that you might have for soothing the tummy. It basically puts everything back in like an equal harm harmony. That's that's the best way to describe it for digestion. Um, so you can put one drop of that in water. And the other one that's really great to use internally is frankincense. Um, so frankincense um, really helps cells perform optimally. Uh, it does lots of different things, but really great at reducing inflammation and also great for anti-aging as well. So um, you can either drop them in water, Ascent, doTERRA have the um, veggie caps that you can put essential oils into, um, and if you don't like the taste, or you can just pop a drop under your tongue as well. So um, the three, the three different ways um, you can use your essential oils. There's actually, you can use in some situations, you might use them all three ways. Um, so for example, the flu, um, you can diffuse, you can rub essential oil on your chest or on the soles of your feet, or you can take internally. We actually have a um, soft gel pre-made called On Guard, which is really great for boosting and supporting the immune system. Um, and that's already, so that's that protective blend that you saw at the beginning put into a veggie cap and, and you can purchase that straight off so you don't have to do the, the making yourself. Really great for um, boosting the immune system. The other one we have um, is um, allergies. So especially with seasonal allergies at the moment, your combination for that in the diffuser or um, in a rollable or on your chest or on the soles of your feet is gonna be lemon, lavender and peppermint. But we actually have a soft gel called Tri-Ease um, that you can take internally, completely safe to take internally. It's already produced by doTERRA um, to take the guesswork out of it. And that is specifically formulated for allergies. So if you have your um, essential oil pack there, your experience pack, grab your air essential oil and you can just waft this under your nose again. I won't get you to apply that topically. Um, but basically this essential oil, just think anything to do with breathing. Um, so opening up the airways, clearing your sinuses, great to apply before a workout. Also, at the moment, obviously, um, in the UK, I'm not sure about the US, but ne from next week, we're going to have to wear masks whenever we go into a shop. So um, pop, you can pop one drop of air essential oil into your mask, um, especially like, I get a bit claustrophobic when I wear them. And it just helps. It helps your breathing when you've got your mask on. So that is a really um, great tip for a way to use your um, Air essential oil sample. Um, so that's going to basically promote clear breathing. Um, my son and I are both asthmatic um, and this oil has been incredible for us. You know, we used to use tons of Vicks vapor rub. Um, you know, if we get a cold, it tends to go straight to our chest. We just have a weakness um, and we then end up on steroid inhalers. Um, and actually the last time that George um, was poorly, he didn't end up on those inhalers. That's not to say we don't ever use them because we do, um, but we always turn to the oils first. Um, so yeah, it's been incredible for us as a family. So. Here's just a few different um, ways that you can use the essential oils in your experience pack. So you can see here, you've got the little symbols up the top in different colors. So every essential oil will have these attached. Um, they're not on the bottle, but you can find them online. Um, so A is for aromatic, so it means you can use aromatically. T is for topical, I is for internal, and N means you can use it neat on the skin. Um, so that gives you a guide as to how you can use each essential oil. Um, and then and here you've got the lemon oil, it's great for going into food, great for mood, great for detox, um, and you can apply it into um, some Epsom salts and put into a warm bath. When you use essential oils in water, so you could pop one drop in a cup of water and drink it as a peppermint tea um, to, you know, to soothe the tummy um, or just as a really nice sort of um, you know, to replace replace your peppermint tea. Um, make sure the, or the water isn't boiling hot because if it's boiling hot, then it just absorbs or the oil sort of evaporates. So you need to make sure that the um, oil is, um, the water is on the warmer side and not boiling. Um, and then air is really great as well. Obviously the, the parts that we've just um, talked about, um, but really great before any form of exercise as well. Um, so this is wild orange. Um, 
I, every time I come to this video, I think I must try and get that better because it's a bit jerky. Um, and obviously we're streaming through Facebook, so it might not be um, great quality. Um, but it just gives you, a, well, I'll press play in a minute just for a few seconds, but it just gives you an idea of the farms that we work with. Now, doTERRA is all about, um, is all about giving back. So the way that they source their oils, they have a whole initiative called co-impact sourcing. Um, and this basically means that they don't take without giving back. Um, there's a very bad sort of reputation within the essential oil industry that the farmers will produce all this oil and they never get paid, they're not treated fairly. So doTERRA ensure that they do give back, they replant trees, they make sure that the farmers get paid. Um, and that is unheard of so that, you know, in, in the industry as a whole, because there's these middlemen and, and quite often, you know, or very often the farmers are treated very poorly. Um, but doTERRA has changed so many lives, not just with the products, but from the people that they work with and the farmers, you know, they're building distilleries, uh, there is so much incredible work that goes into um, getting hold of these essential oils, but also making sure that they can sustain the supply of them so that they're never going to run out. So I'll just press play. Um, it may be a little bit jerky, but we'll, I was born in Sicily, we'll go with it. Myself actually moved to Brazil when I was very young, so I was about 20 years old, and my great grandfather started producing secret essential oils in Sicily around me. secret essential oils by this we found that some of us will have the perfect climate to produce it. We have to help them produce it as possible. We have a fantastic. Nós trabalhamos sempre em indústria, eu e a esposa, né? Eu trabalhei por 43 anos e foi uma bonga. Ok, so you can see there, there's also, Jotaro have an incredible um, Instagram page called Back, um, Behind the Bottle series, um, where they go behind the bottle of each essential oil that is produced to show you exactly how it's, you know, how they, how they get it, um, how they produce it and how it gets to the bottle to, to us as customers and advocates. So there are three ways that you can purchase essential oils. So retail is the way that most people will choose not to, um, just because it's the most expensive way to purchase your oils. Um, the second way is wholesale. This is basically like having a Costco membership. So you pay um, an annual, um, fee of £24 and then you get access to all of the doTERRA products with 25% off any time you purchase. Um, and then the third way to um, purchase is below wholesale, um, but I will go into a little bit more about that in a second. Um, but now that you've heard about essential oils, it may be that you're thinking you might be surprised and didn't realise that they could massively impact your life in so many ways. But doTERRA really wants to support you with this um, and your journey. They, their goal isn't that you just have one bottle of melaleuca for acne or one tube of deep blue for pain. Our goal is to teach you about how to live a natural lifestyle so that when things do come up like pain, acne, cold, flu, allergies, instead of reaching for the medicine, you can reach for natural solutions that don't have those side effects and they don't have the risk of addiction. So doTERRA puts kits together um, that are always cheaper than wholesale price So if you than if you bought the oils individually. Um, so this is one way you can purchase below wholesale. Um, so if you add up the cost of the contents of the kit, it will be a lot cheaper. So the natural solutions kit on the left hand side is one of my favourites. Basically has everything in there that you need to replace your medicine cabinet, has a diffuser, has the amazing digestive enzymes um, and probiotics to support your gut. I actually had a gallbladder removal in, De in December um, and I couldn't have managed without those two products. They've been life-changing for me. Um, the has the immune oils, the soaps, sanitizers, the soft gels, and finally the lifelong vitality supplements. So if I could only have one product, it would by far be the lifelong vitality. Um, it does three incredible things. It helps with chronic pain, gives us more energy, 
and um, gives us more support emotionally. And for me personally, it's totally balanced out my hormones, I believe. Um, and But doTERRA feels so strongly about it that basically you can use that entire pack of um, lifelong vitality with, within the first 30 days. It could be completely empty. And if you don't feel that it's made that much difference to you um, or had any effect on any of those three areas, basically doTERRA will give your money back. So it's a no risk guarantee. And that kit has the lifelong vitality in it. Um, Second option um, is the Home Essentials Kit. This has um, your 10 most, you know, your top oils, if you like, the 10 most important oils to get started and a diffuser. These bottles, apart from the deep blue, are all 215 um, ml bottles um, and they contain, 15 ml bottles contain to around 240 drops of essential oils. So if you did have an experience pack and you can see how powerful that one drop of essential oil is in the palm of your hand, you can just see how this kit is going to last you um, and how you can start to build your collection around it. The kit on the right hand side is one of our lower price point kits. Um, it has the 10 most important oils still, but they're in five mil bottles. So if you're on a bit more of a budget, it's a really great way to, to get oils into your home. Um, and obviously you can do what I did. So um, the membership is 24 pounds. Um, if you buy, there's, these are just three of the kits that we have. We do have, um, quite a few more available but if you buy an introductory kit then you get your membership for free so you get that 24 pounds refunded however um if so if you really want to start with essential oils then this is your best way to do that it's going to be the most cost effective way to do that if there are other products that you're interested in and and you know that there's some here and there you can absolutely tailor make what you get started with. That's what I did. I paid 24 pounds for the membership and then I handpicked my products depending on sort of my pain points and what I wanted um, for us personally. And then I added to it as I went along. Um, so obviously there's lots of different options depending on what's right for you and what's right for your family and also what's right for your budget. So um, you can you know have a chat with the person that that invited you and they can help you discuss that. So now we find that there's three types of people that come to these classes. The first one is really excited to start living a natural lifestyle, to learn about the power of essential oils and introduce them into their home. So doTERRA wants to support that type of person by offering free education. And obviously if you're in this group as well, you have the free education um, from us as well. Um, so that's ongoing so that we don't, you know, you don't just purchase your oils and then you're left to it. There's tons and tons of education out there to help you um, make sure that you're using those within your home in the right way um, and getting the most from your from your membership. The second one is sitting there and thinking that, oh, my mum needs these oils. My friend needs to learn about them um, and they naturally already are thinking that there's lots of people that they could share doTERRA with um, and doTERRA rewards that type of person um, through a generous system. So basically, as those people um, consistently share doTERRA over time, um, they can end up having their oils paid for every single month um, and get free natural health care and maybe a little bit of extra income along the side. Um, so there are thousands of people all over the world getting, you know, that free natural health with doTERRA. Third type of person that's been watching this the entire time maybe and thinking I want to do what she does, I want to share these with as many people as possible to change lives, I want to be educating people through the power of essential oils. So basically doTERRA <laughs> is that type of person through um, an incredibly generous compensation plan and as we educate people about essential oils, you can earn enough to supplement your income, um, replace your income, um, you know, make a massive impact on you and your family financially. Um, so it can have so there's so many different things. It's it's limitless with this with this company, and you also don't have to decide now. Like so many people become a customer and then later on the, down the line think you know, I want to start sharing these oils. So it's a natural progression. Um, but if you're the second or third person, then just feel free to pop me a message or the person that invited you and we can help you get started. Um, now, before we end, I just want to share a little bit about why I take the time to share essential oils with people. Um, so um, I'm a mum of four children um, and I had my young, my youngest, my eldest, um, I was 20 years old um, when I had her. 
and um, so yeah, 20 years ago nearly, there were 20 years ago this year, um, and when I was pregnant with her, I actually started suffering with, um, I didn't know what it was at the time, I thought I had low blood pressure, I thought that I was, you know, going to be pa passing out left, right and centre, but actually it turned out that it was um, anxiety. I had no idea what this was, um, no one explained it to me, um, it got progressively worse um, and you know full-on panic attacks I actually by the time she was three months old I could not leave the house alone um, my mum had to go with you, I could just get about get out of my back gate with the buggy and walk down the path and that was only if mum or my husband came with me you know it was a really testing time um, and basically I went to the doctors they diagnosed me with postnatal depression um, I had a bit of a battle with that because I was like no I've I'm, I'm depressed because I can't live a normal life because of these panic attacks but basically they wanted to just give me diazepam um, I refused for a, a little while and then it got to the point where I just couldn't function um, and they persuaded me to take it um, the whole thing with me and anxiety is that I don't like the feeling of being out of control um, so I took one tablet and I have never felt more out of control I've never felt so horrendous in my entire life um, that is not to say that there isn't a place for medicine absolutely there is and for some people it's right um, the right thing to do but I just decided for me at that point on that I would I would never uh, I would do everything that I could not to have to to take that medicine again in my life um so i sort of set out on a bit of a mission my mum was massively helpful she was a holistic therapist um i had some hypnotherapy which um helped me leave the house basically um and then over the last 20 years i've always turned to more natural solutions um i I've had hypnotherapy, I've had Reiki, reflexology, um, CBT, um, NLP, like I've literally, I, I try everything holistic because I just love it and I, and I believe, um, you know, things like osteopathy and chiropractic care, there are so many ways out there that we can help and support the body without turning to medicine and like I said, it's not a one size fit all but for me um that's what I did and I got to the point you know I never thought that I would you know be able to do the things that I've done over the last 10 years 20 years ago I just didn't think I'd ever be able to leave the house again um and for me when I found essential oils although it wasn't at the forefront of my mind as I started to use them over you know a few months and I realized that this was actually the missing piece of the puzzle for me it was the final piece of the puzzle with all those other um you know alternatives that I've tried to be able to introduce into our lives as a family and we were actually getting to the point like as a mum of four my eldest is 20 this year she's just moved out so there's three left at home um the, and then there's Callum who's 16 Eva is nearly 10 and George is nearly nine so they're eight and nine at the moment but we've got to the point as a family where you know I I didn't like it and but I found it hard because I didn't have an alternative suggestion and I remember Martin was always coming down from doing bedtime and saying you know oh the kids have got a headache they want some cowpaw the Eva's foot hurt she wants some cowpaw you know she's got toothache she wants some cowpaw she's got a cough she wants some cowpaw and and that was ringing alarm bells to me but I didn't have an alternative to give them so now what we have is instead of turning to cowpole, we have a drawer full of oils. We have um, we have a drawer full of um, oils that are already pre or diluted in roller bottles that they can help themselves to. And over time, um, you know, we're teaching them. Not it's not a massive like you know teaching thing, but it's just a case of oh mum, I've got a headache. What can I use? And now they've come to know what oils will help them with certain things and they reach for them themselves um, you know obviously there are some times where they're not sure what to use so we you know we just say you know that's what you can use for that try that and see how it helps um, if not we can try something else and you know again with oils there's not one fit all but for us as a family it's made a massive difference to be able to say to the kids go and choose something that is plant-based that is natural but yet can have a massive impact on your body without having to ply them with cowpole and you know medicine I used to 
in Callum when he was little. They've now banned that. Like, it just for me, as a mum, it's just the most incredible feeling to be able to teach them that, you know, they can turn to these, these, um, these essential oils before we use medication. That's not to say we don't ever use it because there have been times and, you know, that I'm sure there will be times down the line where we do need to turn to it. Um, you know, and if you're ever unsure, but it is our, always now our first port of call, our first resource. Um, and as a family, that has been huge um, and it's massively impacted us. So that's it for me. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, if you do have an experience pack, then contact the person who invited you because they will also be able to send you a little link on how you can use that experience pack. We have a document I've created specifically for you. If you don't have an experience pack and you've watched this um, and you'd like to try one, they are just five pounds. You get seven essential oils in there to try out um, and you also get a sample of deep blue um, so that is well worth it um, so feel free to contact um, myself at any point ask any questions like use the group if there's anything that you're missing then just ask and we will we will help you along the way so thank you for listening and I will speak to you soon